Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Ursha, and this week we are doing another movie review. This is H.P. Lovecraft's From Beyond, produced by Brian Yuzna, starring Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton, and directed by Stuart Gordon of Reanimator fame. Uh, so it's always great to see that team together again. Uh, so this is from a sh short story by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, and it stars Jeffrey Combs as Dr. Crawford Tillinghast, um, Barbara Crampton as Dr. Catherine McMichaels, Ken Forey as Detective Bubba Brownlee, and Ted Sorrell as Dr. Edward Pretorius. Uh, so the film starts off with a couple of scientists working in their laboratory on these crazy experiments. And uh, Dr. Crawford uh, turns on this device they created called the Resonator. <laughs> Such an awesome name, I love that. The Resonator. Uh, which is the device that stimulates the pineal gland. Uh, which they believe is a kind of a sixth sense. Um, and what happens is the device stimulates the sixth sense and uh, it brings about these visions of creatures and uh, <laughs> that, that almost opens the door to this other dimension where there's these creatures. Um, and what happens is he sees one of the creatures, Dr. Crawford, uh, and it bites him in the face and puts a big hole in his face and shit. Uh, so he goes and uh, gets Dr. Edward Pretorius and he's like, man, you gotta check this out. This is crazy. It's actually working. Uh, so uh, Dr. Pretorius sees it and he decides to turn on the resonator. And he sees the visions as well of the creatures. And what happens is it starts to take over his body and he starts to go nuts. And uh, Dr. Crawford is like, you need to turn that thing off. It's driving you crazy. Uh, and he's like, no, and he starts to really feel the power, and it takes over his body. Uh, and he freaks out, and the creatures attack him, and they actually bite his head off, you know. Uh, so Dr. Crawford Tillinghast freaks out, and he runs outside the house, and the police are waiting outside for him. And they throw him in jail, you know. They throw him in the rubber room, they think he's nuts, you know. Uh, so this psychiatrist goes to visit him in the rubber room uh, by the name of Catherine McMichaels, played by the great, the lovely, the talented Barbara Crampton. Um, so she, she's a psychiatrist and she's very intrigued about uh, Dr. Crawford Tillinghast's story um, about these crazy wild experiments and this device they created called the Resonator. <laughs> I love saying that, the Resonator. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, she wants to actually recreate these experiments because at one point they do CAT scans on Dr. Crawford Tillinghast and they see that his pineal gland was enlarged and it was stimulated. Uh, so she believes his story. Uh, so what happens is uh, she takes uh, Dr. Crawford into her custody um, and they uh, go back to the Pretorius Foundation, uh, the uh, foundation that Dr. Pretorius created along with Crawford Tillinghast and uh, they want to recreate the experiments. They want to see what this device, the resonator, is all about. Um, and of course they are under police escort by uh, Detective Bubba Brownlee, played by Ken Forey of Dawn of the Dead fame. I love that guy. Uh, and he's a blast in this movie. He's so much fun. <laughs> uh, so they they turn on the resonator again, and uh, Dr. Crawford shows uh, Dr. Catherine McMichaels what this thing can do, and she sees it for her own eyes, and she's very intrigued by it, you know. And actually causes her to get stimulated in other areas because that's another part of what the device does it stimulates the sexuality you know um, that's where the body horror aspects come in uh, which kind of reminds me of films like David Cronenberg with the shivers and rabbit and things like that nature uh, so yeah there's a lot of that in this film as well that sexual kind of body horror um, more, a lot more so than I would say Reanimator was.
There was a little bit of that in Reanimated, but there's a lot of that in this movie. <laughs> uh, so what happens is uh, Catherine McMichaels gets so intrigued by it uh, that when everyone goes to sleep, she sneaks into the laboratory and turns on the resonator. Uh, and she gets really freaked out by it. And uh, she wants, she's like, I want more. I want to feel more. I want to see more. Um, and she gets really stimulated by it, you know. And at one point, uh, we find out that Dr. Um, Edward Pretorius was kind of a sex freak, like into this weird S&M kinky stuff, you know. They find some home videos with him doing freaky stuff. <laughs> uh, and we see that's probably why they created this device, you know. Probably one of the reasons. Um, so he can get his rocks off, you know. Also, uh, as the film progresses, uh, Dr. Catherine McMichaels gets more and more, like, stimulated. And at one point, she goes into Dr. Pretorius' room and finds this sexy, kinky leather outfit with studs and everything, uh, tight as hell. Uh, and we really get to see that sexy side of Barbara Crampton. She looks hot as hell. <laughs> uh, so she gets real freaky. And she sneaks into the room to see Dr. Crawford tilling gas, basically like raping him in his sleep, you know. Uh, but Detective Brownlee does catch her and stops her, you know, before she goes nuts, you know. And he's like, look at yourself, what are you doing? And she comes on to him at one point. Uh, so this really gets to her, this uh, resonator thing. It's really affecting her, really making her go nuts, you know. And he's like, look at yourself, look in the mirror. And she's like, no, I don't know, I can't believe this. What am I doing? Um, so, and another thing is they see Dr. Pretorius. He's still alive. They find out he's still alive. And the creatures have completely taken over his body. And he becomes more and more grotesque as the film goes along. Uh, he's completely deformed and... Uh, he, be he ends up becoming like this giant monster by the end of the film, you know, and attacking uh, our heroes, you know. <laughs> uh, so, and it's so much fun. That this movie is loaded with crazy practical effects, you know, over the top, just like Reanimator was. Uh, some of them don't quite hold up today, but a lot of them do, you know. It reminds me somewhat of John Carpenter's The Thing with the practical effects and the creature designs and makeup, you know. A lot of great stuff in there. Uh, I really, really enjoy the film and I highly recommend it. And I think uh, this is Barbara Crampton's best role. She has a lot to do in this movie. Uh, it's a very well-rounded role. She's very intelligent in the film. Um, she's very sexy and uh, she's just a great character. I love her character in the film. And of course, Jeffrey Combs is great as always. Uh, Ted Sorol is uh, fantastic as uh, Dr. Pretorius. Uh, I love at one point he has that classic line, Humans are easy prey. <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, so this is an awesome release uh, from, uh, if you ever get the chance to get this Blu-ray from Scream Factory, it's absolutely fantastic. What an awesome release. Uh, so I love that cover art too, it's so awesome. And on the inside, of course, you can reverse it to the original VHS cover there. Awesome stuff. Uh, such a fantastic release from Scream Factory. And I have to say, I actually never saw this movie uh, until I got the Blu-ray uh, just recently. Um, and I am so pleased with the film, I love it. Uh, it's gonna, I'm sure it's going to be one of my favorites uh, to bust out on Halloween time, which we are coming close to, folks. Uh, and it's such a fun uh, body horror style, style movie. And it's got those classic elements uh, from other H.P. Lovecraft films like Reanimator, as well as some of the David Cronenberg style body horror. Uh, and you got great performances in there by Jeffrey Combs and the lovely Barbara Crampton. So I highly recommend From Beyond. Uh, thank you folks for joining me, Sean Patrick Gershon in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.